I live very close to a very large tourist area in the United States, right by the coast. And during the summertime, there was no uh, geoengineering uh, stratospheric uh, aerosol spraying here. Uh, about two weeks after school started, they started hammering us with this uh, daily. In the, uh, first, they were doing it in the middle of the day. Then they started doing it at night and early in the morning. Um, about, let me see, the beginning of October, my daughter started having seizures. And we have no history of seizure disorder. Oh. In my family. Oh, Michelle, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, Michelle... Um, you can pull it up. Uh, just type into the search engine uh, disorders of the brain, neurological disorders skyrocketing. They're now saying, oh, it's normal to get Alzheimer's when you're 25. It's normal to have narcolepsy. And they admit the shots are doing that. There's all sorts of bizarre spraying, all sorts of chemicals in the water. We are being soft killed. And I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, how old is your daughter? She's 13. And um, good Lord, she's having two to three seizures a day oh my god and um they've got her on medication but it's not working i went to the neurologist with her and i said i wanted her tested for heavy metals and he almost threw me out of the office yeah, no no they're not allowed to check for heavy metals or what could actually uh, do uh, d d has your daughter taken a lot of vaccines she did get the h1n1 before i found out oh my god. about it at school and, yeah, it can um, cause an autoimmune. Well, they, it causes an, wait, wait, the school didn't ask you? They asked me, yes, but oh. I, at that time, was a sheep and thought it was good. So she's now having seizures and she's 13. Yes, sir, and we don't know the cause. My doctor, has, the neurologist, has admitted he doesn't know the cause, but he refuses to check her for heavy metals. I've had to go to her family doctor and basically beg, you know, the osmosis that, that doesn't oh. have any of the, of the fluoride or anything in it, but I just, as a, as, a, as a closing statement here, I just want to say that I own what in the world are they spraying. I've been showing it to everybody I know, and anybody out there that knows anybody that can stop this um, stratospheric aerosol spraying, please, please stop this. We've got to stop this. It's hurting our children. Well, I think that they did accomplish their goal, and, I, and right now 100% of the Earth is uh, affected by mind control or scalar waves that are transmitted now from satellites in space that completely ring the Earth and are enhanced by ground antenna that we see as cell tower microwave transmissions so that at any moment they can transmit a mind control wave to specific areas of the earth uh, to specific people and a lot of what's happening now with the chemtrails is also creating a web or a network around the earth like a shield or radio wiring so that it's like a grid that covers the earth and they can pinpoint very specific locations now and transmit whatever they wish to, to create. Yeah. You, you know, we, we've just got to not let fear get to us because that's the control system's most potent weapon. Hmm. Well, I think that, um, you know, the spraying from the air, uh, I mean, I've been to 50 countries over the last 20 years, and um, even when I visit my, my friend, uh, Kredo Mutwa, the Zulu shaman in South Africa near the Kalahari Desert, you look up in the sky and the bloody chemtrails are there. They're everybody where. And there's, a, there, there's um, obviously a reason for that. And one of the things I've learned over this 20 years of research is that there's never one reason for anything. Mm -hmm. um, there are multiple reasons. Part of it is uh, destabilizing the human immune system part of it is creating a sub reality around uh, the planet in to manipulate the energetic field that we're living in every day and um, I, I'm absolutely convinced that um, the chemtrails and the manipulation of the lower levels of uh, the uh, energetic field, Earth's energetic field, which we live in and experience all the time, um, is connected in, in, in part to, to the HARP transmissions, um, which, uh, of course, HARP has many, many multiple um, levels of uh, technology and applications, and one of them is literally uh, uh, creating mass uh, fields of thought, which we decode as our own. Um, I had a, a friend in America who um, told me... Um, few weeks ago that she, her husband, um, her 
uh, son and a son's uh, partner uh, had exactly the same dream about uh, uh, Barack Obama in the same night, um, uh, which was a dream saying that he was a good guy and a wonderful guy and all the rest of it, which, uh, you know, a, a day's research will show you was a nonsense. But um, and, and, and she said immediately that she felt that some kind of technology had been broadcast and people had picked it up. What they're um, seeking to access is, is the pineal gland um, to, hmm. to literally transmit um, thought, perceptions, dreams um, um, into, your, into your reality. We need to be aware of this because um, not every dream is a, is a premonition of, 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 oh, you know, all the rest of it. They can, they can be... Uh, uh, broadcast out and we can we can uh, decode them and, th and thinking it's a dream we're having when it's actually something we're picking up and that's what's what what part of the the harp system is and i i think that um this chemtrail stuff and, and many many other things that are being dropped are, are, are in, in part um connected what did they want to accomplish Bottom line is they wanted to create a global robotic society, very much like you'd see on Star Trek, the Borg, where everyone has a specific function, a specific designation. No one asks any questions. You just go through your life doing what you're told to do in a specific function, and you never deviate from that. And in that way, it ensures a society that does not change, and the control system stays intact. My gosh. And you know what? They're, they're pretty much there. When I look out there in the public and I hear how people react to things, they just believe whatever they're told. No one questions anything. Now, yes, there's a few people who, who like myself, who, who make a lot of noise. But for the most part, people just follow along and don't question anything. Chemtrails are real. Until 1996, all condensation ice crystal trails only formed at 20,000 feet and higher, generally in the winter months, and they faded out in a few seconds to the maximum of one minute. Your whole life, remember watching a trail go by and watching it disappear? Then suddenly in 96, before anybody was even talking about chemtrails, I would notice, man, why do those stay there? I'd be in, you know, uh, gardening, because my parents had a couple acres in the middle of town, I would go garden, because I like planting stuff, call me a weirdo. Uh, but I'd be out there growing watermelons and stuff and stomping around uh, and the flowers and the bees. And I'd go, man, that trail's been up there for like an hour and it's getting bigger, turning into a cloud. What's going on? It's like cloud it's seeding. funny about people that are out there going like, they're not doing chemtrails. It's like, well, okay, well, your house is next to mine, so you're breathing <laughs> the same stuff. So, you know, have fun with when your child gets a giant brain tumor, too. You know? They're bastards, man. Stop killing us. You can find thousands of mainstream government university programs where they spray the clouds and seed the clouds and where they're terraforming the planet, changing its atmosphere. I believe the way they're hyping global warming, that they know they've done, they're even changing jet streams now, that they are going to alter the weather, they are going to create tsunamis, which is declassified they can do, that they are going to create calamities and that that's why people keep saying oh they've been disproven global warming the earth's cooling oh that you know it's been proven that that yeah they're cooling that's what the science shows they're doing and it's going to cause calamities and everybody's going to beg them to save them because the jets hardly ever leave our skies alone so that we get deep blue skies so and i don't believe that commercial airlines are as engaged in this process as everyone wants to think or our government wants us to think because they can't afford to do the loops in the loop um, they can't afford to go off in all directions because they have to be on a schedule they fly straight lines they're trying to conserve fuel they're cutting back and so i can't believe that airlines have the money to do the loop the loop and go through uh, keeping planes up, doing all the things that we see in the skies these days. There's tens of thousands of declassified examples of spraying chemicals, biologicals, and radiologicals on us. Of the in game covers this. How they mainstream admitted, march U.S. troops into chambers, hit them with nerve gas, and dissect their bodies. Young volunteer sergeants, they don't even tell them what it is. They go, oh, we're just going to test a flu bug on you, you're going to get three days off after you're sick. Will you do this for your country? Yeah. They march them in, nerve gas them, and it's over. They tell their family they died of the flu. 
Because, I mean, that's who you work for, police and military. This is who you work for. They're going to kill you, cops. After they're done using you, it's just it's all over, man. And let me tell the citizens something. You better say no to all of this. You better not go along with this. You better warn everybody. I mean, that's what makes me so mad about my detractors. Not that they're detracting me, but that I am desperately fighting as hard as I can to get everybody to warn everybody about the eugenics operation. And whoever runs it, whoever's at the top of it, they're doing it, man. And we got to warn people.